Hi there, my name is Jensen. I'm going, to, I'm going to walk you through the setup for JSN chat for Microsoft Teams and how to manage and create tickets. So to get started, what you're going to do is go to the project you want to connect in Jira Service Management. I'm going to connect my IT service desk. From here, all I need to do is go to channels and then click on chat and click configure. From here, I'm going to click install in Teams which will direct me to install the app. I'm going to go ahead and actually move this into the tab here. It's going to prompt me. I'm going to say use web instead. And it'll prompt me to the app in Microsoft Teams. I'm going to add it to a team that I already have created. This one is going to be my IT agent triage channel. I recommend creating a, a private channel prior, prior to installing the app that you can grab and set the bot up in. Click Setup. It's going to ask me to view and approve and then also connect with your service management. So first I will approve it. I will select the bot I would like to approve it with. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say connect with Jira Service Management. Now what will happen is it's going to say, cool, go back to the chat channel where you just were and finish the setup. So now if I come back to IT, I'll see that I now have this sign in with Teams button. I can click that. I'm going to select the correct email. Um, I'm already open in this other tab, so it should do it automatically. I'm going to grab the request types I want to use. So I'm going to use get IT help and get guest Wi-Fi and fix an account problem. I'll click submit. This is going to create all of these forms within um, my Microsoft Teams instance. So this is pulling all of the fields, information, statuses, um, and customer forms from the request types I've connected. After that, I'm going to click next. And it's going to tell me to go finish setting this up from Microsoft Teams. So I already have connected it to the correct triage channel, so all I need to do is click OK. And now I have this connected. So I've got my triage channel, I have the request types that I connected, and I can toggle approvers on or off. So now what can happen is if I go into this triage channel, let's say I also want to have a request channel. So I can come here and say, you know what, I want to use this Ask IT channel to manage Jira requests. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Manage Team, Apps. I'm going to add an app to this channel, this, add the team. I want this Ask IT General channel, and I'm going to click Set Up Bot. So now, if I want to make a ticket in Microsoft Teams, all I need to do is create, a, I can click on the little three dots here in any channel, and I'll have this assist toggle. So I can click assist, it will pop up the forms that I have grabbed from that project. I'll grab the one I want to use, click next, say my VPN is down. And I can create a ticket directly from Microsoft Teams into Jira Service Management. So you'll see here that this became bold and I now have this ticket that is connected. There's ITSD number one. I can open that. And so let me actually just open it in a new tab here. You can see both at the same time. It says that Jensen raised the request, that's me. The description has synced. I can assign it to myself. And I can do this from that triage channel. The triage channel is meant for agents. And so now you can see, let me make this a little bit smaller here, that it has now been assigned to me. I can reply directly to the customer and say, hey, we're on it. And I can respond from Jira. This will send a message to the ticket here and it will also send a message to the requester. I can also reply directly from here and say, on it. And that will sync back to Jira, and I can also send private notes directly as well. So then we send. 
from here you can also go into the IT channel and let's say you wanted to write a message that said my VPN is down I can send that now someone can click those three dots here and click more actions create a ticket and you can grab the request type so I can say okay this one's get IT help I can create a ticket directly from here and this will make a ticket in Jira and in my triage channel so a ticket's been created from this message it has populated in the triage channel here, um, and I can view the ticket in either place. Another way you can make a ticket, and I'm actually gonna open up this requester. So this specific side here is a requester thread. Um, I can go ahead and just grab a request type from the portal. So let's say I get IT help, and I say, um, well, my computer and I can go ahead and create a ticket directly from the portal. What you'll see that happen is if I go back to Teams here, that ticket will populate in the triage channel. So if I zoom out a little bit here, you'll see that I'm locked out of my computer has come to ITSD3. The requester in Teams will also get a message here from the chat that says, here's the ticket you just made. I'm locked out of my computer. This user can choose to reply directly from Teams or from the request channel. So if they reply here and say, I need help ASAP, I'm going to go ahead and send that. So that this is, again, the agent side. And you'll see that it also sends here to the ticket, so you'll see it says, I need help ASAP. Um, and you can also respond directly from here and say, thank you. And so send directly from Jira, and it will also come to the ticket. So you'll see it; those messages sync in every direction. A, a agent can also click edit here, and they'll be taken to what we call the tickets tab. And this is where you get a list of all of your open issues and you can specifically um, look at them through like sort of a queue here, like you would with your queues in Jira. You can adjust your statuses here, you can change assignees, etc., cetera, um, change titles and whatnot. So all of this can happen directly. Lastly, one thing you can do is also send messages via direct message. So let's say the requester asks the agent, I need help, here's AP. That message will come here, and I can turn this ticket, this message, into a Jira ticket. So your DMs can also be less cluttered with personal requests, and these can go into your IT queue. Um, so that's sort of the gist of how to make tickets. If y'all have any questions, please reach out to our support team. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.